worship His majesty Unto Jesus be all glory, honor, and praise Majesty, kingdom, authority Flow from His throne unto His own We read in the book of Leviticus chapter 26 verses 11 and 12 I will place my dwelling in your midst I will walk among you you will be my people and I will be your God and again the book of Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 22 I will be your God and you will be my people the Lord has fulfilled his promise. He has placed his dwelling in our midst. We concentrate on Jesus. We offer ourselves into the loving hands of the Lord. We read in the book of Micah chapter 7 verse 7. I look to God and I wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. The prophet expresses his conviction, my God will hear me. Now, as we are spending time in the presence of the Eucharistic Lord, this is the confidence we have, Jesus will listen to us. Saint John also tells us in his first letter, chapter 5, verse 14, this is the confidence we have in him. If we ask anything according to his will, he hears it. The book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11, he tells us, For surely I know the plan I have for you, the plan for your welfare, not for your harm, a plan which will give you a future with hope. So Jesus has come before you at this altar, to give you a future with hope. It doesn't matter what situation you are going through. It doesn't matter what all things have happened in your life. Now Jesus the Lord will be taking control of your life, your family and all the people whom you are praying for. We offer ourselves into the hands of the Lord and we lift up our hands in praising God for a while. Hallelujah, 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 Deliverance in the name of Jesus. We trust in you. We believe in you. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. As we go through the gospel according to John chapter 6, the Lord was speaking about the mystery of the Holy Eucharist. Jesus said, unless you eat my body and drink my blood, you will have no life. The people who listened to the Lord, they could not understand what he was speaking about. So many of them left the presence of the Lord. Only the disciples remained. And now Jesus was asking them, do you also wish to go away? It was Simon Peter who replied. Peter said, you have the words of eternal life. To whom else? shall we go we have come to know and believe that you are the holy one of God we are spending time in the presence of God in the presence of Jesus because we have no other help so we offer ourselves completely into the hands of the Lord the book of Proverbs chapter 23 verse 26 God tells us my child Give me your heart. Let your eyes take delight in my ways. 
the lord is asking for nothing else but our heart we give our heart to jesus we tell him we have no other place to go we tell him we have no one else to approach we keep our hands close to our heart we focus on the eucharistic lord and pray together lord jesus lord jesus i believe i believe you have the words of eternal life you have the words of eternal lord life lord jesus lord jesus i believe i believe you have the words of eternal life you have the words of eternal life i have come to know i have come to know and believe and believe you are the holy one of god that you are the holy one of god you are the holy one of god that you are the holy one of god hallelujah 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 Oh, son.